Hello crafty friends, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. Today we're going to put together one of these little three envelope mini albums that I showed you the other day with this little Mickey album that I did. And it's got a little pull out album as well that's made from a card base. So all you need to do this little album is three envelopes and one card base. And this time I'm going to use some uh, craft envelopes and a card base because I'm going to be using pictures from a camping trip that we took when my kids were younger. I have just found all kinds of photographs lately and I've been really inspired to do some mini albums. So these came from a recollections pack that I had. Now this envelope and uh, card base if I look on the back here it's not quite as big as the one I used for the Mickey album these envelopes or these card bases rather are four by five and a half inches so I'm sure that means the envelope is a little bit smaller as well this card base and these envelopes are nice and sturdy so I think they'll work out really well for my little mini album now for my cardstock my papers and some embellishments I'm going to be using this close to my heart the world is yours bundle now the cut above scrapbooking kit did sell out guys but you can still get this bundle through May 31st and it's awesome and I just think that the craft is going to look so nice with these shades of green and peach and gray I just think it's going to make a really cute album and I've got a heads up for you guys to celebrate their 35th anniversary close to my heart is having a flash sale beginning today which is Wednesday May 29th it's going to start at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and it's going to end at 1 59 p.m. on Friday May 31st and all discounted items that you purchase count towards a total for purchasing purchasing the stamp of the month for five dollars if you purchase fifty dollars in close to my heart products you can get this adorable stamp of the month for May for just five dollars but this also is only available through May 31st. So you might want to check in on that, guys. Now let's get started on this mini album. Now you're also going to need some kind of a corner rounder. I've got a corner chomper here. I like to keep my handy dandy ruler around. You want some glue, and I put my uh, art glitter glue inside of one of these precision tip bottles because it's a little bit thinner tip and you don't need a lot of art glitter glue to stick things down so that one works really well for me and you need a trimmer so the first thing we're going to do let's move all this out of the way we're going to get the top off of our glue bottle and you're going to take two of your envelopes and you're going to turn one this way and one this way get your flaps open and just slide that first flap right inside that envelope. I hope you can see this guys and kind of line up the uh, seam right there and you can close it and tap it you know and make sure it's lined up. Now you can go ahead now and put some glue in here but I'm going to go ahead and add the third envelope. You want to flip over that second envelope take the flap of the third envelope and tuck that in and once again I'm going to tap it get it all lined up and squared up then I'm going to go back to the first page where we put that first flap in and I'm going to take my glue and if you don't want to use glue you can use double sided tape but I find this glue works best and we're just going to put just a little bit in here see I got a little bit too much and we're just going to seal that shut now we're not going to do this on this side because this is going to be our pocket where our little pull out album is going to go go ahead the whole time you're doing this now just kind of 
tap it to keep it square. Then we're going to turn over. Now this is a solid page. You don't need to do anything here. And you have nothing here to glue. But you do have this back flap. And we're going to go ahead and just put a little glue here. And I guess you could just lick the flap if you wanted to. <laughs> and we're going to glue this down. And before it sets, we're going to tap it. Just like that. Now, this is the back. This is the front. Here's your first page. Here's your pocket page. Your third page and your fourth page. Now, I've got my trimmer up here because we're going to trim a little bit off the side and the top of the card base that's going to go in this little pocket. It's made to fit in the envelope, but when you turn it into a mini album, it gets a little snug. And we're going to be putting some embellishments and some cardstock on here, so it needs to be just a little smaller. So we're just going to trim just a tiny bit off the top and off the side. Between a quarter and an eighth of an inch, not much. Just square it up right there. And a little bit on the side. And now we're going to take the corner chomper, and I'm going to use the half inch side. And we're just going to round the two open edges. And there we have our little pullout album. Now I've gone ahead and cut the first mats for the front, all the inside pages, and the back of my little mini album. And I'm using this close to my heart, The World is Yours, um, cardstock. And I really like this brown with the craft. And there is a lighter brown, but I like the darker brown best. And I've cut my mats, and this is going to depend on the size of your envelope, guys. But I cut my mats at four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's going to depend on how many mats you want. I like lots of mats because it adds to the sturdiness of the album. So I'm going to do this brown one, and then I'm going to do a green one. And then I'll do my patterned paper. So it'll make it nice and thick and sturdy. For your cover, just go ahead, get this first mat down. Now when you get to the inside, this is not going to be a pocket page. So we're going to go ahead and we'll put one of those mats right here on the inside. When we come to this side, you don't want to put glue all over the back of your mat or this side or you will seal up your pocket. So all we're going to do is put the glue around the edge of the envelope right here. So then when we put this on, this will be loose. And if you'd like, you can take a circle punch and go in halfway and notch out a little place so that you can get that little uh, extra photo album out lots easier. In fact, I'm going to go grab a circle punch and do just that. Now there's my little notch, and that'll help me get my little pull-out album out of there. Now we're only going to put glue around this area, because we do not want to seal this shut. And this is going to leave our little pocket empty so that we can get our little album out of there. There we go. And see, now it's just going to slide right in. And you'll be able to get it out real easily, just like that. So there you have it, guys. Just go get some envelopes, a card base, and make yourself a cute little three envelope, one card base mini album. You see how quick and easy it is. And then this little uh, pull out 
go ahead and cover that with your paper as well and have some extra pages for photographs and it's done so thanks so much for coming by today guys i hope this has been helpful to those of you who asked me to do this video and i hope you will go and go through your photographs like me because sometimes you're going to find some great photos that you missed over the years and you can either scrapbook them or put them in a mini album and get to enjoy them all over again thanks so much guys I'll see you again soon. Bye now.